Hi guys, we're gonna start the live stream momentarily. Let's get all the people in. Hey Queen, how are you? I'm ready to start this live stream. Let's get all the people in. I'm good. That's good. Are you having a good Friday? Because I definitely am. Last week's live stream was pretty good. And I'm thinking that I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I wore on last live stream but I actually have like the matching jeans that I got today. So that's my reasoning why I'm wearing the same shirt from last week. I bought, I got the matching jeans in the mail and then I got this tank top today. Yes, I was like, oh, should I rewear it? Should I not? And I was like, you know what? I am gonna go ahead and rewear it but i was like you know what i said let's do this live stream because this hour is going to go by pretty fast i assume or i think well we shall see Hi guys, oh, where am I from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. I lived in Houston for a little bit, but I'm in um, Dallas. Don't put, hey girl, where are you? I'm in a secret location right now. Well, I'm in Dallas, but I'm in a secret location for today. I'll be in Houston next week. Um, so I'll probably do a live stream next, next week. Um, I'm thinking either Thursday or Friday, but I'll probably have new new hair on next week because I'm going to change my hair color next weekend. So we shall see how that hair color goes. Hopefully it goes good. And I love the view that I have because I feel like I get like a lot of natural lighting. I think 6.30 is a good time. I was going to change it to 7.30 because I usually do live streams at 7.30. But today is actually my dad's birthday. So I actually have to go uh, have dinner with him after the live stream. Therefore, that's why I'm, I'm recording and filming here. But we can give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. We don't have any likes right now. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's see more people join in. Yes, um, I do work at the one in North Park. 723, that one's my favorite one. Well, at least in Texas, that's like the highest volume um, one. So you have to be where people shop the most. 
Oh, where there's more product or variety. I'm usually there every weekend. Well, I'm usually there on Friday, but today I actually had like a lot of things to do. So I wasn't available this week. Well, today. And then next weekend I won't be there because I'll be in Houston for the week. Yeah, I think it's better than the gallery. They took out their luxury handbags. They actually have a little bit of Chloe bags, but I don't know why they have that there, but that's the only thing that they have. But yeah, I feel like ever since Saks left that mall, they have they they haven't been able to recoup a lot of the, the things. Like that mall is not the same. They keep trying to add more things. And I feel like as Dallas is growing, I feel like it's going to be a lot better, I assume, because they're they're, re re they're renovating the H and M when North Park got kicked out of their when H and North Park got kicked out of their lease. Um, so they're adding like H and M home. So that's going to be the first H and M, I believe, in Texas that's going to have home in it. And then there's the Mango there, and there's like a few other stores that are just there, or I would say can't afford to pay North Park's rent because I'm pretty sure North Park rent is something ridiculous just to even have a store in that in that mall it's probably something ridiculous but um that Louis Vuitton has gone renovated there is like nice things at the mall but I feel like there needs to be more things in that mall for it to be for it to sustain but we shall see how in the next few years how Galleria will turn out um I don't think it will ever be like Willow Bend where it like completely dies down but I definitely do feel like, um, I feel like North Park is in it. I mean, North Park will always be better than, superior than Galleria, but I think both are really great. If we give this video a thumbs up, guys, I would appreciate it. How are we guys doing tonight? Good evening. Let more people come in. Oh, Mary says, hey, Serge, the skin is skinning. Yes, right now, like, I ha right now is, like, the perfect time where, like, the sunlight is hitting my face. And so I feel like my skin has been looking really good today. I'm not wearing makeup, but I usually don't wear makeup during the day. I usually wear makeup during the night, like, if I'm going to dinner or if I'm doing, like, something more, like, being pictured or something. But usually I don't wear makeup. But, yeah, this is my natural skin. But... Um, I'm back to using a tretinoid on my face, so the tretinoid has definitely been helping my skin out a lot by, uh, I don't know, I feel like my I'm kind of seeing more layers on my skin, so it's really thanks to the tretinoid. The tretinoid has definitely, definitely, definitely been working. Uh, Stay All True says, happy Friday. You don't even need makeup flawless. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't really need it. Sometimes I'll do do it just because there, you know, you could always have like a little bit of makeup but i really tend not to like maybe like two three times a week that's why like my foundations my concealers my blushes all that stuff it usually lasts me a long time because i don't get to finish through the product very very easily and i don't like to have like a lot of clutter of things um but yeah but happy friday to you and then from any of my dallas peoples i have something very exciting that i will be announcing in the next few weeks so just stay tuned for that because it's something that you guys do not want to miss and it's something that i think all of us would love to be a part of so definitely definitely have um uh i definitely have something very very exciting so stay tuned for that because that's going to be a big announcement um mary says how do you avoid the skin peeling um with the tread uh, I use the Paula's Choice Exfoliant too. I don't use the exfoliant every single day. I use the exfoliant maybe three to four times a week with the Shiseido Cotton Pad. And I feel like that kind of gives it a good balance. The Tretinoid, I tend to use it maybe a few times a week too. I don't put the Tretinoid every day. Sometimes I'm super busy or I, like, I get out of work or whatever the thing is. And I, I sometimes I just want to wash my face, put moisturizer and call it a day or put serum in and call it a day. 
So it just really depends on the day. But I put your annoying maybe like like so maybe like four time four or five times a week. But um, but I but it, with the polished choice exfoliant, I would say that's a good because exfoliant I kind of feel like this it kind of like picks up whatever is dead there. But that exfoliant um, by Paula's Choice that I have been like living throughout it, uh, like super, super, like throughout the last few years. Uh, but you don't need Botox, but if you start getting a tiny bit, gotta prevent. Yes, I do have a little bit of Botox on my forehead, um, but next week I will be getting like a little bit of filler on my lip. I feel like this last time when I got the filler, I feel like on my top lip, I feel like a lot of the filler went by really, really fast. I feel like my bottom lip looks fine. I never had a top lip to begin with, um, but I feel like it went by really, really fast. So I think I'm gonna do a full syringe, but I'll probably do 75% of the full of the syringe on the top, and then just 25 to even out the bottom. But I don't see my, I don't think I'm gonna get Botox this time around, uh, like I did in January. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit more towards the beginning of June or July to kind of get like a more of a uh, uplift. But you gotta prevent, yeah, so I use tretinoid, I use sunscreen, um, I take care of my skin just so my skin looks uh, really good. So when I'm older, I can say all these little things that I spent money on have definitely have been uh, worth a while. Uh, Chris says, I live in McKinney, Texas, close to, uh, close, uh, close, uh, but close drive, not far from you. Yes, uh, yeah, McKinney's really not that far, I mean, you just hit the toll. I mean, not the toll. You just hit the highway, and you're pretty. You're pretty much there. It's super, super fast. Um, I McKinney. I don't feel like there's like a lot of traffic. I mean, there probably is, but there's not a, a lot of traffic as like you're going through other places. But um, but yeah, you're not that. You're not that far in the universe of Texas. But um, there is like something coming up that I will be announcing pretty soon. So it'll be super, super exciting uh because maybe you guys get to all see me in person but i'll announce that as kind of like the days go by well the next few more weeks but i'm just throwing a little hint out there um make best fragrance recommendations i need to do a tiktok on the fragrances that i use and then post a, a reel because i still kind of use the same fragrances right now um i'm kind of using the ysoy audit perfume the men's one um, I'm getting the Elixir and a PR kit um, in the next few weeks, um, but I've been using that one a lot. I have been using um, Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Ode Parfum, and I've also been using uh, Mixed Emotion by Byredo. I feel like those are the ones that I have been using right now. I definitely want to add maybe more of a lighter scent for the spring and summer, but those are the ones that I have been using right now. Uh, JT says, hey, Sergio, did you get to explore to Soho during your New York trip? I didn't call Cena in your vlogs. Did that vlog ever make it? Oh, no, I never got to post that. I need to finish. Let me see where did I end up in the New York vlogs. Because I did it, because I think there was another one that was supposed to go out. Yes. Okay, so after 21st century that day, the last day before I, like, I went to Ross and stuff, I had an extra day. I had went to Soho. I had went to... The Tory Burch store, where it was like three levels. I went to the Totem store. I went to the Kate store, the Elias store, because they were all in Soho, like literally all next to each other. I went to the TG Max in Soho. I did, I have to kind of go back, but I, I did record some of it, but I, there was a reason why I must have not recorded. I think I did edit the video, but I think I got a copyright and I haven't went back to take out the audio of it but let me see i think i yes i do remember yes because then i went to hudson yards yeah i do remember that day yeah that's yeah that was really nice yeah new york yeah i did go i think i need to go back and post this one but i did do a, a, a full vlog on that one but i did go to like all the stores and then we went to like macy's and Herald square um like before my last day because i think this was like saturday sunday and i think i left like on a monday but i need to go back and probably upload that but i did go to soho and soho was probably my favorite part of like the shopping and everything i just love 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 uh the vibe there a lot it was probably my favorite thing uh about going to new york definitely 
So, but, hey, Sergio, I live in New York City. Oh, you live in New York? I love my time in New York. When I was in New York, I, I loved it. It was so much, um, it was so much fun. Like, everything kind of happened really fast. I feel like the days went by really fast, but I just felt like it was, uh, it was really good. I, I loved it. And you're lucky to live in New York because New York is such a beautiful city. I cannot wait to go back. I'll probably go back in the fall, like Christmas time, because I feel like everyone needs to experience like a Christmas in New York. And so I feel like that would be something really nice to experience. So you'll probably catch me there more around uh, the winter time, uh, because I think that's really, really nice. Spring Street, Bleecker Street in Soho are my faves. Did you like Fifth Avenue, Soho, or Madison have the best best five? I felt like Fifth Avenue felt more touristy. I feel like you definitely felt the more tourist vibes. I feel like Soho was like, it. I mean, everybody knows Soho. But Soho was like more, if you know, you know. Like, I feel like that's where you see like all like the Frankie shop girls. Like, um, you see more of like the more of the street style, more like the TikTok videos. Like, you see more of like, how do you say it? like aesthetically pleasing is the word it definitely soho was a lot more aesthetically pleasing fifth avenue was like a little bit more touristy madison avenue was probably the it was madison avenue was good i would say it was a little too bougie for me i felt like soho was like the perfect vibe of like a little bit of both i think it was like it was bougie but it wasn't super bougie it was nice but it wasn't like super out of nice where I felt out of place. I definitely feel like Soho was probably like what I like the most. I will say that the shopping at Fifth Avenue is nice too. There's a lot of shopping, but I feel like I like more of the boutiques because, you know, we have Saks here in Texas, but we don't have like a K. We don't have, you know, uh, a lot of the other boutiques that are there. Um, like what, what are the names? Like, and Alexander Wayne Boutique. What are, some, what are some of the other boutiques that they had? They had a lot. And the Mercier Street is where like a lot of those boutiques are. Um, the ones you usually don't see a lot. But I did see kind of like an Abercrombie too, like on that street, which I thought was like a little weird, but you do see like a little bit of everything there. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, but born and raised here, yes. New York is definitely a vibe. And for my first time in New York earlier this year was definitely really nice. I really, 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 really liked it. I thought it was really nice um sartorial yeah uh, but i think out of new york you know i did all the touristy stuff i did like i went to go see like a little bit of everything but it was a lot i feel like you can definitely be in new york for a whole month just in manhattan and i feel like you would still feel like you didn't get to see everything i feel like you definitely have to go every time and just do different things that um that you haven't done But I feel like that goes for every city. Every city you can do everything in a couple of days. You definitely have to be there for a lot more of a longer time frame. But I did love it, so I cannot wait to go back. I think it's going to be um, really, really nice. But if you guys give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Let's see how many, uh, yeah, we got, we got a few likes. Let's see if we can raise it up a little bit more. But I will be doing another live stream and it'll probably be, um, my next live stream will probably be next week, next either next Thursday or next Friday, but I'll always post it on my community post. It just depends how backtracked I am in a lot of things, just because I still have a lot of things to do before I go to Houston. And so I don't know if I'm going to leave on Thursday or Friday, but um, we shall see. Um may have missed this but are you working at nordia north park yes nordstrom north park correct yes i'm there all the time i'll be there tomorrow so if you so if you're from dallas you can come and chit chat with me i always have so many people come like it's so weird because i always have like a lot of people like they'll see me and then they'll be they'll look at me and they're like i know you from somewhere and then they'll be like oh oh then i say oh you too probably and then they say yes and so then we like kiki sort of conversation, but usually nine to ten uh, on the weekends. I always get to meet a few subscribers. It's probably like I would say on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's probably like five to ten people every single shift. 
And then on the weekdays, maybe like one or two or three. But I love it. I, I always have a conversation with everybody. So if you happen to be there, you can always uh, kick it up and say hi to me. But there's something very exciting in the works. So um, I'll announce that later on in the weeks. Um, someone said, did you check out any shows on Broadway? No, I didn't. I know I should have, but uh, I, I want to next time. I think next time things will be more planned. I think this time I want to go with a group of friends. Um, I was actually supposed to be on a trip right now with friends, but I ended up canceling it just because I had other things that I had planned that came. So all my friends are literally in Cancun, like all of my friends, like I'm like looking at everybody's location because I share locations with a lot of my friends and they're all like literally uh, living um, their best lives. They're all literally in Cancun all together. Like, I'm just like, oh, I should have been there, but there's always an accent, but I always have, I always, I love to check people's locations. I have a lot of people's uh, locations. I love, love, love to share locations. Uh, Adrina says, hello, Sergio, hello, how are you? OMG, I wish I was there. I used to live by Willow Bend. I would hit Frisco Galleria in North Park. Yes, I mean, that's how, that's how you're supposed to do it because you just hit the tollway. I mean, you start at Stonebuyer, tollway, you go there and then you go to North Park. I mean, for me now, like the stores, like the malls that I like shopping to, I like North Park. Um, today, I actually was in Fort Worth all day. So I was actually like in Clear Fork and like uh, at the Hewlett Mall and stuff, I was doing like a shopping vlog. Um, so you'll probably see that probably on Monday or Tuesday, but it was a good shopping vlog. Like it was actually nice. I bought a few things, uh, but I also like the little shopping center in South Lake. I think it's pretty, pretty good too. Uh, Jim said, I love your new Quince video. I have always been curious. That's, Quince is a good brand. I, I like their stuff. Their stuff I've been holding up. I've been using um, the little black woven clutch. Uh, I feel like I'm going to keep it in a, in a rotation and I'm most likely going to bring it with me um, to Houston when I'm there this weekend. But yeah, Quince is good. Like I definitely want to try out some other clothing items. Um, they kind of run me of Everlane, but I think Quince is a little bit I mean, everything that I have ever bought from Everlane, I personally have not liked. I have bought so much stuff from Everlane. And I remember we did a pop-up and I bought like $700 worth of Everlane stuff in different sizes and styles. And I hated absolutely everything uh, that I returned at all. But uh, Quince is a really, really good brand. I definitely really, 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 really love it. If you guys need this video, thumbs up. I appreciate it. But yeah, I love the sunset. Like right now, I'm talking to you guys. I'm like seeing the sunset and it's like really nice. I'm like, oh, I enjoy it. I cannot wait for these like hot summer days. They're literally like right around the corner. Even though today was kind of raining, today was like definitely a rainy day. And then out of nowhere, it just kind of turned, it, it turned nice. Like the sun came out and everything. I wonder if it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but today was kind of like a girl's day. It was definitely raining a lot. And today out of nowhere, it just decided to turn nice. No, it's not supposed to rain. It was supposed to rain on Monday, but uh, but it's supposed to be good weather. But yeah, it's it's been a it's been a good week so far, and I'm excited to keep doing these um, week by week and see how they turn out. Uh, but I love last week's one, and this week one is going to be good, and then next week's uh, live is going to be good as well because there's a lot of fun videos coming out. And in Houston, we're going to be doing a lot of shopping and a lot of shopping vlogs that are, that are going to be super, super good. Mm -hmm.
But have you guys been shopping for anything new? Is there anything new in your collection or anything that you have been buying or anything that's on your wish list? Because I definitely have a lot of things that are on my wish list that I'm like, oh, should I buy? Should I not buy? But there's nothing like looking at all these items um, in person. Let's see what time the sunset tips tips today. Let's see. The sunset since it's seven forty one. Oh my god, it's still like another hour. Um, I just got the Jack Moose Beam View small, but it was on sale. Do you know the coach? Uh. I know you love the coach. How did you, how do you find the coach pillow holding up? Uh, the coach pillow holds up pretty well, in my opinion. Um, it is super soft as far as the leather. So you definitely have to like, I have to use a magic eraser in the corner wear. So once it's just getting like a little dirty and that's just by even setting the bag down and it's dusty, I find that the corners where it does get a lot of wear. So you do kind of have to clean it up a little bit. Um, I heard that the that kind of like color got discontinued by Coach, so you're gonna start seeing it discounted on a lot, on a lot of places. Um, like the classic, not the, like the ivory color. I know the white one is the one that replaced it, but the ivory ivory tabby got is getting discontinued. But uh, with the tabbies, since it's a soft leather, you just have to clean them as they get dirty, and none of the color anything would come off because I would just use water, a magic eraser, and everything would come off. But it still looks brand new. It still looks pretty nice. I mean, I don't see any major wear, but I also didn't really take the bag anywhere where I felt like the bag would get like destroyed, if you know what I mean. Like I did not take that um to like six flags or like anywhere where it would get super, you know, elements of the earth so it could get destroyed. But um if you take care of it, I would say it holds pretty well. Um I mean, Kansas service is, but yeah, uh, but it's one up. If you still want the tabby, I still think it's a good one, the pillow one, but I would say you definitely have to spot clean it as you go. As you get things, you definitely have to kind of clean it um, the more, the more you go. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm in Kansas. Service is horrible here. I had girls give me samples of perfumes and let me see stuff before they put it out on yearly sale. Oh yeah. Like, um, like the yearly sale for Nordstrom or like, uh, or the anniversary. So like uh, when they put the Nordstrom stuff, anniversary stuff. Yeah, we, we do get that. Like I'm, uh, we are already kind of talking about the anniversary. So well, all this stuff already has already been picked out like, well, like six to seven months ahead. I mean, that's just how retail works. Like I know a lot of department stores have already did all their holiday buy for this coming year, like in January. So all the stuff that, you're all going to see for Christmas has already been picked out, uh, which is crazy how fast kind of things go. And I feel like it goes faster and faster every year. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it's crazy how, how fast they're probably already making things for this coming anniversary. Um, hey, Sergio, what do you think of Mulberry's quality? I think that the quality is really good. So Mulberry is a brand that used to be at North Park. There used to be a store but now in the store that I work at, we actually carry Mulberry now. We carry Mulberry and we carry the full range and the full line. And so I actually get to see the Mulberry product like every single day. And so for me, I think that Mulberry is really extremely, extremely underrated. I think I have a new respect because we had people from Mulberry come in. I have a, more of a respect for Mulberry. And Mulberry is a brand that is like really the definition of quiet luxury. It's the definition of a luxury handbag. Even if you look at the bio on their Instagram, I think it says building leathers that last or quality items that last. 
I think that their quality is exceptional. I think that the quality is good. I have nothing bad to say. Sometimes when I saw mulberry bags, I would be like, oh, like it's not my style. I know that Bates water, I know these certain styles, you know, X, Y, and Z. But now with mulberry, I don't know. I kind of have, it's kind of like the Paramore album, like brand new eyes. Like I have brand new eyes. Like I opened up and now I like, I actually really like mulberry. And I think mulberry has better quality than some of the other quote unquote luxury, quiet luxury um handbag brands but i would definitely carry um a mulberry bag versus some of these other uh big labels that you see nowadays but i think it's it's really 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 good i think it's a really good brand both those i got goodies yeah say the yeah especially the beauty girls if you get along with them they'll hook you up like they'll hook you up for sure they uh they love 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 uh selling beauty um but yeah they they love they love it all my all my friends are always like oh yeah yeah and they're always really really nice so a lot of my coworkers that work in beauty and i feel like this time around when i came back i feel like i'm a lot more open i feel like i chit chat and i talk with a lot more people in the store versus in the past i feel like i only really talk to people that were like in my area were in like my department but now I kind of talk to everybody like in different like levels of the store and everything. And I think it's really fun. And, and I have a lot more people that um, that I get to interact with on a daily basis. But yeah, but yeah, Mulberry, uh, it's a brand that I, I do really, really like a lot. I think it's a very respectable and a very, very nice quality brand. It kind of reminds me of Strathberry, but I feel like Strathberry scratches a little bit more easier, in my opinion. I feel like if I run my nails throughout it, you can definitely see the lines on them. But in the Mulberry ones, you don't really, like you can run your fingers throughout them and they're gonna hold up a little bit better. Uh, what would be great to know what other brands you'll be reviewing this year? I love Quinn's video you just put up. So Quinn's will be another one. Um, what's the other one i had just placed the order um not jw pay uh charles and keith is going to probably be one of the next ones that you'll see in the next like few weeks you'll definitely see it next month for sure that's a brand that i've been getting requested a lot for people to see um in a lot of particular styles so that's one that you're going to see a lot uh i will be doing like more updated reviews on like a updated toy birch one updated coach one um, I'll be doing a updated Kirk Iger one. So you'll be seeing them, uh, some updated ones from brands I have already talked about. But um, you'll definitely be seeing newer players in the newer videos just because I have access to more resources. So you'll definitely be seeing a, a lot more, but it'll definitely be more brands that aren't really talked about a whole lot. So maybe like a Kohan bag, like stuff like that. Um, or Savet is another brand too that I have been loving a lot. I think their bags are really well. Um, another brand that I, I really want to do, and this will probably be probably after Charles and Keith, because I have bags from this brand and I never I don't even think that I talked about them in the channel. Um it's uh I cannot think of it of the name right now, but uh, I'm trying to think. Parisa Wing is one of them, and then the other one too is, this is the one I'm talking about. Uh, I cannot think, I'm trying to look about uh, Let me Google it up real quick. I'm, I'm like literally having a brain fart right now. I, I kind of got distracted a little bit. Um, I literally just Senrev. Senrev. Senrev is, is the next one. I, I literally had a brain fart. But Senrev is, is going to be good. Uh, Senrev is going to be one of the next ones that you'll see too. Senrev and Charles and Keith are probably 
the next one as far as new brands, but I have a Sunrev Bangal wallet that I've actually been using that I've actually haven't shown you guys. So that'll be next thing you'll see. Um, but there is a Charles, there's a Charles Keith store in Mexico City. My friend was there last week and they showed me a picture of it. Um, which, um, Sergio, what are your thoughts on Kate Spade uh, or some more peppy lean bags? I like Kate Spade a lot. I definitely, I like their novelty bags a lot more. I think they do novelty really well. I think when I think of Kate Spade, I either think of super basic and simple bags in the nicest way, or I think of a lot of like fun and quirky, like very playful bags. I think they, like right now they have a lot more I think the collection that they have now is more tennis. I think that's what they have now. Uh, I know they did like an Evil Eye one. They always they always do some of the better collections that I like. Um, let's see. Let's see what, yeah, I think that's like the, the collection that's, that's right now. But they always change it every like couple of weeks. Yeah, it's like golf. They have a bag with like golf and stuff like that. So. I like that they always kind of play around with the different uh, themes of them. Uh, they always seem very, very fun. Uh, let's see. But other preppy lean brands would be like, what is considered preppy? Like, like a Vineyard Vines, like a Lily Pulitzer. I mean, I think those are more traditional preppy, but like new preppy would be more like Coastal, like J. Crew. I would say, right? I'm not really sure. Because preppy is not particularly my style. I feel like it used to be my style, but it's not my style like when I was like in high school. But uh, but preppy leaning backs. But I do like Kate Spade though. Uh, Rose says, hi, Sergio, new to your channel and enjoy your content. Oh, thank you so much. So there's going to be a lot of new fun videos coming your way. Um, how's your job going now? We are far away from the Christmas shopping season. Everyone seems to be on a no pie. So I will say like people are not shopping how they used to. But that was also the case last year when I was at Mark Jacobs. Like people bought, but it's a definitely a lot more conservative, like the a more of a conservative approach. Now, for me, I'm a little different in a sense where I already have a long book, I already have a long list of clients. So for me, it I don't really necessarily struggle. So maybe versus reaching out to like before like maybe 10 customers a day, I may reach out to 15 to 18. So it would, so I just kind of make up the volume that I lost. But I will say in general, and this is through all my people that work retail or that work in sales in general, it has definitely been a lot more scarce and people are a lot more conservative about how they spend their money. Um, but yes, I would definitely say people are a lot more conservative in their buy for sure. So um, like definitely this is out of me being in, in commission sales for the last six years, I would say this year or even this last holiday season was really slow, even though I was able to push through and have very successful results. I really worked for all that. It's definitely not very, very easy. But everybody do, but everybody is on a no buy. That is true. People are not. You get a lot more inquiries and a lot more purchases, and that goes with everything. But a lot of things are changing with the like the luxury scale business. So, for example, so like through Neiman Marcus or like through like department stores. Like if you go into a department store, let's say right now, uh, like. Neiman Marcus, North Park, and you go in there and you look at their shoe department, and you look at all the Chanel shoes, those are actually a thing called like, like those are Chanel property shoes. Neiman Marcus does not own that inventory. So a lot of brands are switching into this, like this hybrid mode or, or like where they bring new styles in that are not necessarily purchased by the department store. So they would say Neiman Marcus, is actually owned by the brand and so um so you can't even use like your discount like the commission structure is different so definitely a lot of these brands are taking more control of their inventory and this even goes for brands that once upon a time were not even that popping let's be honest but 
um, it's crazy how Chanel is really shifting everything. So now the only thing that that's kind of like a little bit more like even the Chanel boutiques in Sign Neiman Marcus, allegedly, this is all allegedly, 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 cannot confirm or deny, but even like the boutiques, like the Chanel Beauty items that are at Neiman Marcus, if you go on your Marcus website, you look up Chanel Beauty, it won't pop up. The Chanel Beauty items that are inside Neiman Marcus, that's Chanel owned product. So a lot of these, like Chanel is really trying to take control. The only thing that they don't have a say in is in their eyewear which is produced by Lazotica. So that's going to be, um, that's going to be a license that they license their name for eyewear. So they don't have control because that's more Lazotica and Chanel having an agreement. Now when that license ends, will they pull like a Louis Vuitton where they make their own glasses? You know, Louis Vuitton does their own thing. I don't know, we shall see, but definitely this, they are, are trying to position themselves to be a lot more exclusive. Obviously, like Hermes Beauty is made by the Shiseido Group. Chanel Beauty does everything themselves. You know what I mean? So they are really aligning themselves and pushing themselves to be a lot more higher end. They're probably trying. For me, I think the most exclusive brands will always be Louis Vuitton. It's going to be Hermes and then Chanel. They're trying to take over Chanel. And the reason why I say Louis Vuitton is because every single item that you buy from Louis Vuitton is always going to be Louis Vuitton owned product. Even their fragrance, their shoes and stuff. Even if you go to Saks Avenue on Fifth Avenue and you go into the Louis Vuitton shoe heaven, boots, like, you know, whatever zip code that is, that those shoes, those employees are Louis Vuitton. That's Louis Vuitton product. It's never going to be like wholesale price to a third party. So it's kind of crazy how it kind of, it kind of goes, but, um, but yeah, I know it kind of went, uh, kind of went a little bit off, but, but yeah, but, um, but yeah, uh, I've been in a luxury brand consumer for many years and I recently started liking, I got back into coach and blown away by their bags and boutique experience top notch. Yes. All my friends that have worked for coach, um, they are really, really top notch. They're really, really nice, really, really sweet. Always go the extra mile as customer service should be, how customer service should be what other designer stores or other places lack in. But, uh, but yeah, they are, they're pretty nice people. Every time I walk into a coach boutique, everybody seems to be very nice, very attentive. Like even today, well, today I didn't go to a coach boutique, but just all the stores that I go to, everybody is praying really nice. And I'm seeing even from the sales sheets in general, like I said, since sales and stuff are not popping, uh, people, a lot of the social streets are a lot more nicer because they need more of that sale versus in the past. Like in 2020, things were a lot different as far as sales. And there's a whole reason for all these price increases for all that stuff. And it's not because they, it's, it's a whole other thing. When you are on the other side, you see things for what they are. Everything is just to remain more exclusive, to keep people or certain people or certain demographics out from purchasing. You know, that's why they price the items that they price them at. They may sell less, but they make it up by the price increase. Um, but there are some brands that I feel like have priced themselves out even from their own customer, which I think that's actually a good YouTube video idea. Uh, dang, we're really in a recession and that sucks. So I hope the economy changes for the better. Uh, I think so too. I think it's going to change. I think this holiday season, I already feel like it's going to be a lot better. You know, um, you know, there's still people, there's people are still thriving. Brands are still thriving. Like they're opening a Camar Jacobs down in the border, like a full line, like in the Lally. So, I mean, there's still stores, there's still stuff, but definitely I would say like 25% of people are doing good. And I think the 75 are doing worse or not in the same position as they were, let's say the previous few years. But I definitely see it in consumer spending and I even see it in my own spending myself. Um, like I don't I don't shop as much, but also my style has definitely changed. Like I feel like I kind of matured and stuff. So I don't really like, I don't really spend as much money as I used to just because I have more of like of a cleaner style. So 
um, I definitely have changed my shopping habits so but definitely everybody has been doing a, a no buy or people go look at things multiple times before they buy it like a handbag or like even like a fragrance uh, I'm done with Chanel I never purchased another Chanel bag for the foreseeable future the quality is in the gutter for these ridiculous prices um, I agree like every single TikTok I see you know right now they just renovated the Chanel boutique in Highland Park it's actually two levels it's beautiful but I just feel like uh, I feel like they're not, I don't know. I, I feel like I don't see myself ever buying Chanel. The other day I was like, should I buy like a Chanel bag? Like I kind of really want to get one, but I'm like, I don't think I kind of want to go through that. I don't want to feel like I, I don't want to go and spend my money on something that's super expensive. I just rather uh, buy like something else. Like I'd rather save the coin on, on, an, on another item, but, um, but we'll see, but I don't, I, there's nothing from Chanel that I have seen that I have even uh, wanted, but they are definitely going to more into the exclusive route. And even some of their prices on their footwear is crazy what it, what it used to be like two, three years ago, four years ago is not what is like what to compare to what is now is actually insane. Like, who have you heard of a Sigma or and seen any real life? I saw the cutest, uh, I saw the cutest nugget in a while and in white that look really cute. I know what that brand is, I have seen them in person once, but I haven't seen them talked about. That is another brand that I have gotten requested, uh, but it is, uh, but I have not seen it in person, uh, like except just that one time. But it's not a brand that I see. The brand that I see that I feel like the last year i've seen a lot is a lot of pollen like a busy weekend i like look at people's bags and i always see pollen bags pollen bags pollen bags pollen bags i always see them i think they're like one of the newer popular bags that i see a lot i mean they've always been popular we've always talked about them that's a bag uh demilier is another brand that i see a lot more of i see more of like these like brands that are, are like not in every single place being sold but definitely i would say pollen is the number one brand that i definitely by far i see pollen as much as i see coach handbags and coach has a huge like retail footage you know you can buy them you know at north park you can buy them All, every every four department stores at north park carry coach in a sense either online or in store Plus their own boutiques. They have five points of distribution of your items. And Poland has no presence as far as like stores in Texas. Uh, but yeah, I still see it as much as some of as much as coach handbags. I think that's absolutely crazy. Whoever does Poland's marketing, whoever does, you know, whatever they do, um, they do a really good job because Poland is definitely that girl. Like I have definitely seen a lot of pulling bags more than a lot of contemporary brands uh, out there uh marlene rosa said thank you for the video on quince and we'll order the tote bag after i watch your video yes so the video because i probably get asked i had to uh, i made it unlisted if you go back on the link if you clicked it you will still be able to watch it i just have to change something in the description box but that video should be back up um soon so uh, but if you were if you watch the video if you go back i put it on listed you will still be able to watch it i just have to change it to the description box so probably after dinner uh with my with my uh with my dad because today's my dad's birthday um i'll i'll go back and change it and i'll make it public but um yeah i forgot that i had to i had to change something in the description box but it is really good quality it's really really nice i loved it i've been using it i may not post my outfits every single day but um I do tend to wear, I, now like when I look at my wardrobe and look at my stuff, like I literally have like three boxes of like things like this, like that are full of stuff that I have to get rid of. I'm just so lazy and I don't have the time to be listing everything like on Poshmark and stuff. I need to make a day specifically just to do that from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. But my style has definitely changed. I'm definitely a lot more simpler nowadays, but I love coins because coins just literally falls into that category where it's like very effortlessly, it's very well priced. It's fair value, you know. I think for me, I, I think a luxury to me is things that I think are well priced and something that will last me uh, 
uh, a good time. Uh, what are your thoughts on Celine? Uh, there's a couple that got my eye on. I actually really like Celine bags. Celine bags are, uh, I like, I, I like the belt bag. I like the, uh, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the canvas bags for a few reasons. Uh, I do see some people talk about the quality issues on the canvas, um, but for me, um, I definitely do think that Celine does more better leather bags than canvas bags. Um, I haven't bought a Celine in a, in a, in a while, but um, they do like uh, like the Ava bag, oh no, the medium Tilly bag looks good I'm on the website. Um, I think they're like little raffia bags that they do. I think they do that well. Um, but I do like Celine bags. I think it's very effortlessly. I think it's very chic. If you wear a lot of gold hardware, I think this is a brand for yourself. I've always loved their sunglasses. I like their ready to wear. I like their shoes. It has more of a California kind of Western style to it. A little bit sense has a little bit of Western elements, well, at least in their clothing. But I do like Celine a lot. I think it's a brand that I don't see themselves rebranding anytime soon because I think they're so successful. And especially this day and age of, in social media, they don't really like to go and change into different things. But I like Celine. Uh, even like the, the bucket bag is cute. Like most of the handbags I uh, I think are really well. But I just wouldn't do any of the uh, canvas bags. I think the canvas bags are definitely more i don't know they're just not my really my style you should do another vlog so yes I, I probably will end up doing that probably when i get back from houston i probably will end up uh i'll probably lay up because i have more jewelry items that i found i have more things that i went i went to my parents house the other day and i actually found like i made a bucket full of things I'm like things that are actually worth because i feel like for me there's things worth posting on a vlog so and there's things worth just posting on Poshmark. They're very like different. And you know, for me, I thought about all oh, let me send items to like the real real or stuff like that. Uh I just think for me, I, I like for them. I rather just have it than to like give it to the real real. I, I saw my first low wave puzzle bag on Saturday. Have you ever seen the puzzle bag before? Yes, I actually have the puzzle bag. I have the puzzle bag. I bought it like uh like three or four years ago. I think I bought it in no, I bought it in 2021, I believe. Uh, I have it like in silver hardware, like in this really like pretty like stone color. Uh, I've, that bag has gotten so much wear and so much use, but yeah, that bag still looks brand new. It looks like I've never used it. Maybe a little bit of handle wear, but I love the puzzle bag. Mine's in the small version and I like it so much. I, I really, really, really tend to, uh, I really like it a lot. But I think the Louis bag is beautiful. And then um, my friend has a Louis Vuitton puzzle mini. And so sometimes like if we're hanging out together, sometimes I'll, I'll take that from um, from her and I'll just borrow it for a few days. But the Louis Vuitton bag is a cute. You should post your Poshmark. Yes, I need, I need to go post my Poshmark. Um, I'll, I'll post it whenever I'm, I'm finished. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm about to head out of here. If you guys have any last minute questions, my, my parents are already calling me. They're like, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I'll be there like in a little bit. But if you guys have any last minute questions, I'll definitely answer them. But prepare to see me next. I'll probably do next Friday. We'll do next Friday, like around six or seven. I'll post it in my community post and I'll have a different hair color. So you guys can definitely see the hair color that I have. Um, I'll, I think I'm gonna go like a dirty blonde color. So you'll see me with being a, a blonde for a few months. Uh, I just got myself the Coach Quilted Madison handbag and oh my God, uh, the leather is amazing. Do you own that bag? No, I don't. The Madison I don't have. Uh, let me look it up. I sometimes I'm forgetting the names. No, I don't have the Madison. The Madison is really cute. It is a bag that I have thought about owning, but it's a really nice bag. Like the puffiness, everything. I know it comes in a smaller version. It comes in the bigger version, but I think the puffiness and everything about that bag is really, really good. But uh, I think you did a good choice with that bag. 
uh, the the kind of cream color is good. I know they did like a peachy color with black hardware, and they did like the uh, the black one too. I think it's a really good one. I like it better than the quilted tabby leather. Um, it's gorgeous. The quilted tabby I like, uh, but I definitely prefer me personally. I definitely prefer if I'm gonna do a tabby. I prefer the tabbies not with the huge leather chain, the chain going through the leather. I definitely like it with the top handle. I've always liked the tabbies better with the top handle, like more of a baguette style. I think it looks a lot more cuter. It looks a lot more pristine. And I like I liked that a, a little bit more, if you ask me. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be the end of my live stream. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Y'all are gonna be in the, in the vlog that I post next, next uh, on Tuesday, but uh, I wanna say thank you so much for you guys for tuning in. I'm definitely going to do another one next Friday when I have a different hair color, um, but just check my community post later on in the week, probably like on Wednesday or Thursday, what time I'm gonna end up doing it, but um, I'll see you guys then. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Friday when I have a different hair color. And happy early Easter to you guys. Bye, Rose. Thank you so much for being the live and hope to see you on the next one. Bye, Jonas. Nice to see you on the next live. Bye, guys, and take care.